Welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering what to do with all that Thanksgiving leftover turkey, I got an easy recipe, turkey pot pie. Let's get started. Let's get right into these ingredients. So for our protein, we got a pound and a half of turkey meat. This is this turkey meat that was left over from my last cook, and if you didn't catch that, I'm gonna link it somewhere up here. But we'll get right back into these veggies right here. We got one whole onion, two stalks of celery, one cup of flour, two sticks of butter. And of course, we got some of that flavor popping. Chicken bouillon, five cups of chicken broth, the Pillsbury pies, like I said, this is the easy version. Four cups of mixed veggies. Just gonna use a little bit of this heavy whipping cream. We put over these ingredients. Let's get over here to our heat source and get to cooking. So with our cooktop on medium heat, we got this chicken broth right here. Like I said, four to five cups. For that added flavor, we got that bouillon chicken. While we let this heat up, we're gonna go over to our bigger pot right here. Also on medium, we'll throw in two sticks of butter. Once that butter gets melted down, we're just gonna add our onions and celery. And we're just gonna cook these down just a little bit. We let these onions cook down for another five to six minutes, and now we're gonna start adding this flour in, just slowly but surely. We're just making a little roux right here. That's all we're doing, adding just a little in at a time. Once we get all our flour added in, we're gonna cook this for just about a minute. We just wanna cook that raw flour taste out. And y'all can already see how this is thickening up. Oh yeah, so now we're ready to add this broth. But before we add this in, we're just gonna get a little stir right here. Y'all can see that chicken bouillon rising to the top. I just wanna get it all mixed in. And I'm telling y'all, this chicken bouillon, I mean, it's optional, but I highly recommend it. It's gonna really flavor up that pot pie. Guaranteed. We're just gonna slowly start adding this in. I know y'all see that right there. That's that filling. Remember, I said this is gonna take four to five cups, just depending on how thick that you like your pot pie filling. We're probably gonna use five and just a little bit of that whole milk or heavy cream, excuse me. And this is after four cups right here. You can see the consistency. It's like just mashed potatoes. You do not want this because you're still gonna be cooking inside of your oven for another 20 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and put our cream in and we're probably still gonna add a little more chicken broth just to get this good and thinned out. This is three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna go ahead and turn our heat down just a little bit to like a medium low. And after you get your cream in, that's when you wanna make the call. Do I wanna add more broth? I can already tell you, we're gonna have to. But it is looking good, y'all know it is. And we're gonna get in there with just, like I said, just about another cup. But hey, feel free to adjust this to how you like. Now it's looking right. It's got a lot of texture, but it's moving around real good and we used every bit of that five cups. Now we're gonna start mixing in these veggies right here. And I got four cups right here, but you use as much as you wanna use. It don't matter. You can put potatoes, bacon, whatever you wanna put in your pot pie. I'm just letting you know how I like it. Now that we got these veggies mixed in here real nice, we're gonna have to hit it with some seasoning. I just do simple seasoning on this. We're just gonna do just a couple heavy pinches of salt to start off with. Same with the pepper. And I'm using about two teaspoons of each. A tablespoon of garlic and give it a little stir. Y'all see this filling? This is what you want right here. I'm telling you, it's still gonna thicken up as it cooks. But now that we got our seasoning and all our filling whipped up and put together, we're gonna let this thing hang out on this heat, medium low for another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna check to see if we need to add any more seasoning. Stay with me. So let this thing sit here about 10 minutes, let's give it a little a little taste. I'm gonna say it needs a couple more pinches of pepper, and that's just my, my preference. We love pepper around here. Give that a good stir in. So now it's time to add our protein, chicken, turkey, whatever, and, you can, and I got a pound and a half right here, and I know this stuff's seasoned right. And again, y'all check out that video. Chicken pot pie is going to be right, let me tell you. Turkey pot pie, chicken pot pie, whatever you want to call it. That is looking good to me. So now that we got this mixture together, we're going to get it back over to the table and start making that crust. Oh, Y'all know that's looking good, I'm telling you. But anyway, to a well-seasoned cast iron, we're going to spray it down, get a little greasy. And we just got some of these Peelberry pie crust things right here. And if you want to make your own, make it. I don't care. I'm just telling you an easy way to make this pot pie. And it's going to be real good. Oh. And look at this. This is a 10-inch cast iron. Y'all see how that works out? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, y'all know it's going to be good. Y'all see what I'm doing. Get that thing all in that cast iron. This pot right here will make two of these or one nine by 13 casserole dish. So we're only gonna fill this thing up three quarters of the way. If you don't listen to me on this, well, I mean, you're just gonna have more filling, but it's gonna eat your crust up. We wanna make it all even, just a touch more. Oh, 
just like that. This is the nerve wracking one right here. Got to be easy with this one. You want it to look pretty. Ever so careful. I'm just kidding. Y'all can tear this up. It's still going to eat right. So anyway, we got this other one and we're just going to set it right on top. We're just going to tuck our ends over just like that. And I'm telling y'all again, if y'all feel this pan up too high, this stuff's going to try to boil over and it's just going to sink your crust. Hopefully we didn't get it too high. I don't think we did. Three quarters of the way usually does a pretty good job. We're just gonna cut us a few little holes right here. Little egg wash, you can use butter if you want to, but I do think that the egg wash gives it a more brown color. But that butter does taste good on that crust. So you do what you wanna do. Y'all let me know in the comments. What do y'all use, the egg wash or the butter? Just let me know. Eggy. We got it put together. Let's get over to our heat source and get this thing cooking. I got my pellet grill running at 350 degrees Fahrenheit but you can easily do this in an oven or whatever heat source that you have. Raise this thing up, shut my baffle down, and I'm gonna stick it to the far side right here on that second shelf. We'll shut this thing down for about 20 minutes, but if y'all like what y'all are seeing here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. 45 minutes, this pie's done. Y'all give this thing a look. I mean, the crust got away from us a little bit, but I'm telling you, it's still going to be something unreal to eat. No oven, no nothing. But think about if you had an oven and a broiler. Look at that. Woo! Let's get into this thing. Oh, man, this thing's looking real good. Let's give this thing a little try. Mmm. One more. We're going in for one more. Ooh, man, that is unreal, I'm telling y'all. You cannot beat the pellet grill, pot pie, whether you do it on that grill or do it in the oven with turkey or chicken. But hey, like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Till next time.